Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can fade in a video in parts in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to fade in a video in parts in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So, this is my demo video present right here. And the first thing which we are going to do is we will create three additional duplicates from this particular video. So click on this video and then press Ctrl C to copy it. And now press Ctrl V three times to create three additional duplicates. Perfect. Now the next thing which we are going to do is we will resize all these four videos on screen. So click on the video which is present at the bottom in the timeline. And now resize it so that it occupies one corner of the screen. Let's say it occupies this particular corner which is top left hand side. Now click on the second video from the bottom and resize it so that it occupies another corner of the screen. So let's say it occupies this particular corner which is top right hand side. Now click on the third video from the bottom and once again resize it so that it occupies another corner of the screen. So let's say it occupies bottom left hand side and click on the fourth video from the bottom and once again resize it so that it occupies the fourth and final corner of the screen which is bottom right hand side perfect perfect now as you can see all my four videos are now visible on screen now next what you need to do is you need to click on the video which is present at the bottom and now look inside the video object settings which is present inside the properties window and if you scroll down below you will find this cropped borders option and on its extreme right you will find this crop tools icon present so click on this crop tools icon now you need to look carefully so the video which is present at the bottom in the timeline is present at this particular position on screen which is top left hand side so you need to place your selection box in that particular position right here which is top left hand side so let me just place my selection box on top left hand side so the resolution of my video is 640 by 360 which means if my selection box has to occupy this particular um, position which is top left hand side the resolution of my selection box will be um, 320 by 180 so right here i can see the resolution of my selection box currently it is 314 by 205 so let me just make it 320 320 by 180 and now click on OK. Perfect. Now click on the second video from the bottom and once again click on the crop tools icon which is present on the extreme right of the cropped borders option. And this particular video is present on top right hand side. So my selection box will also be on top right hand side. And the resolution is 320 by 180. So 320 by 180 and click on OK. Perfect. Now click on the third video from the bottom and once again click on this crop tools icon which is present on the extreme right of cropped borders option. Now this third video is present at bottom left hand side. So my selection box will also be on bottom left hand side. So the resolution will be 320 by 180 
and now click on OK. And finally, click on the fourth video from the bottom and click on this Crop Tools icon. Now this fourth video is present at bottom right hand side. So my selection box will also be on bottom right hand side. And once again the resolution will be 320 by 180 and now click on OK. Perfect. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. Now next what we are going to do is we will add our fade in effect. So double click on the video which is present at the bottom and go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and now click on OK. Now the duration of this fade in effect is one second. So I would like to reduce the duration to just 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, write 00 0.500 and then press enter. Perfect. Now go back to the main editing timeline and double click on the second video from the bottom. And once again, go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and now click on OK. Decrease its duration from 1 second to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, write 00 0.500 and then press enter. Now look inside the transparency settings of this particular fade in effect. And inside the transparency option, you will find these values 0 semicolon 100. So you need to delete these two values and you need to write 0 and then press enter. Perfect. Now once again go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and now click on OK. Now place this fade in effect right after the first fade in effect like this and decrease its duration from 1 second to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, write 00 0.500 and then press enter and look inside the transparency settings of this second fade in effect which you just added. Inside the transparency option currently the value is 0% so instead of 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter. Perfect. Now go back to the main editing timeline double click on the third video from the bottom and we will repeat the process. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and now click on OK. Decrease the duration of this fade in effect from 1 second to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option write 00 0.500 and then press enter. And um, look inside the transparency settings. Inside transparency currently the values are 0 semicolon 100. So delete these two values and simply write 0 and then press enter. Now click on this fade in effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Place this second fade in effect right after the first fade in effect and once again press Ctrl V to paste another duplicate. Now place this third fade in effect after the second fade in effect like this and look inside the transparency settings of this third fade in effect. Inside the transparency option currently the value is 0%. So instead of 0, you need to write 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter. And finally, go back to the main editing timeline and double click on the fourth video from the bottom. And go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and now click on OK. Decrease the duration of this fade in effect from 1 second to 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, write 00 0.500 and then press enter. Look inside the transparency settings of this fade in effect. Inside the transparency option, currently the values are 0 semicolon 100. So delete these two values and simply write 0 and then press enter. Now click on this fade in effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Place this second fade in effect after the first fade in effect. Once again press Ctrl V. Place this third fade in effect after the second fade in effect. And once again press Ctrl V. Place this fourth fade in effect after the third fade in effect. Now look inside the transparency settings of this fourth fade in effect. Inside the transparency option currently the value is 0%. So 
instead of 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter and that's it so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect so this is how you can fade in a video in parts in VSCC free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching